If you are planning for a trip to Pondicherry and searching for the best place to visit, then you are at the right place. Because today we will be talking about top 10 places to visit in Pondicherry, officially called Puducherry. Hey guys, welcome back to Secret Cubes and this is Sagar. Before we jump into our list, let me brief you about Pondicherry. Known as a French capital of India, Pondicherry is situated on the east coast overlooking the Bay of Bengal. Pondicherry is one of the eight union territories of India which is surrounded by Tamil Nadu. The border between Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry is so thin that you will not even know when you cross Tamil Nadu and enter Pondicherry or vice versa. That's why Pondicherry shares most of its culture, heritage and language from Tamil Nadu. The local language spoken in Pondicherry is Tamil but most of the people can understand and talk in Hindi or in English. Pondicherry is a perfect blend of beaches, heritage, adventure and cultural experiences. An ideal trip to Pondicherry can be around 2 to 3 days. It should be sufficient to uncover most of the attractions mentioned in this video. Let's dive deep into top 10 places to visit in Pondicherry. What makes Pondicherry so special compared to other destinations in India is its French colony. When you are here, you will feel you are in a different country altogether. You will see streets and buildings named in French. The houses are painted in bright yellow color and decorated with red bougainville plants. The windows and doors are constructed in French architecture style. Everything around you looks so unique and beautiful which is very rare to find in India. This French town, also called as the White Town, used to be the place where French stayed before the independence. For photographers, it's no less than a paradise. You can get really creative and get variety of shots here. If you are looking for a pre-wedding photo shoot, then French colony in Pondicherry must be your first preference. French colony is best explored on foot or on bicycle. You can also rent out Vespa which will act as a prop for your photo shoot as well. Most of the houses in French colony are converted either to a cafe or a hotel. You can also opt to stay in one of these hotels which will give you an authentic French vibes. But these hotels in French colony are pretty expensive. An average cost of stay in French colony can be around 5000 rupees to 8000 rupees per night. When you google for the images of Pondicherry, one thing that will definitely catch your attention is the golden globe. This golden globe is called Matri Mandir and it is one of the most visited place in Pondicherry. Matri Mandir is situated inside Auroville which is around 10 km from Pondicherry. Auroville is a universal township where more than 3000 people from 49 countries live in harmony. This self-sustained township was an effort towards human unity. It was founded by Sri Aurobindo and his spiritual collaborator, the mother. We will talk more about Sri Aurobindo in the later part of this video. Oro village is spread across 460 acres which is divided into multiple sections, among which most of us would be interested in center of the Oro village called Peace Area. At this Peace Area, you will see Matri Mandir which is a proof of excellent engineering and execution. Matri Mandir is not a tourist destination, but it is a platform to rejuvenate the spirit within yourself. We can see Matri Mandir from outside without any restrictions, but there are strict rules to enter into the Matri Mandir. I'll drop a link in the description which explains the process to visit inside the Matri Mandir. But if you just want to see it from outside, then you can simply walk in without any reservations or entrance fee. How can we not mention about beaches while talking about the coastal region? Moving from spiritual world to some chill vibes, next we have Eden Beach on our list. Beaches on east coast are not as popular as beaches in west coast. But still Pondicherry has got few unique beaches which are worth visiting. Among one such beach is Eden Beach. Very few people who visit Pondicherry know about this beach. Eden Beach is a blue flag beach. What is a blue flag beach you ask? Blue flag beach means it is clean, safe and has got all the basic facilities and lifeguards. 
This was the first ever blue flag beach which I visited and I was flabbergasted by seeing such a well maintained public beach. If you want to get in the water then this beach is the best place as it has got a dedicated safe swimming area, shower, changing rooms and lifeguards. When we talk about beaches of Pondicherry, then one thing that cannot be missed is the Rock Beach. Pondi Beach, Puducherry Beach, Rock Beach, Promenade Beach, Sand Beach and Lighthouse Beach, they are all next to each other. So to keep this video simple, I'll simply refer them as Rock Beach. What makes Rock Beach so special is its promenade. This promenade is a vehicle free pathway for the visitor who want to spend calm time with the nature. We can sit on the rock beach for hours, looking at the Bay of Bengal, listening to the waves hitting the shore and never get bored. You can find a lot of eateries, restaurants and cafes to have yummy food while watching the sea. If you walk along the promenade, you will see so many important spots like Mahatma Gandhi statue, lighthouse, French war memorial, statue of duplexi, Ai Mandapam and lake effect. The promenade will be open 24 hours a day so you can walk safely even at midnight and no one will bother you. As the name suggests, Serenity Beach is one of the peaceful and the most beautiful beaches in Pondicherry. The tides here are usually very high which makes surfing as one of the best sport at this place. Lately Serenity Beach has got its popularity due to surfing. If you want to learn surfing then you should head to Serenity Beach. There's so many surfing schools here where you can enroll for a day's learning. Well I couldn't try surfing myself but I would love to do it the next time I would visit Pondicherry. Remember Eden Beach that we talked previously in this video? Well just adjacent to that there is another beach called Paradise Beach. Paradise Beach is surrounded by sea on one side and river backwater on the other. To reach Paradise Beach you will have to take a boat ride from Chinambar Boat House. The boat ride would cost you around 300 rupees per person for a two way travel. The boat ride itself is very scenic and a must do when you are here. Paradise Beach is one of the well maintained beaches just like Eden Beach. It is also best place to get into the water as the beaches are clean and well maintained. But I personally would prefer Eden Beach over Paradise Beach for getting into the water. Moving away from the beaches of Pondicherry, Arikamedi is one of the lesser known places near Pondicherry. If you love to explore old archaeological sites, then you should head to Arikamedu. It is around 7 km from Pondicherry and it is close to Eden Beach and Paradise Beach. Arikamedu was an ancient Roman trade center. The world didn't know anything about the Indo-Roman ties until Arikamedu was discovered. The first dig in Arikamedu took place in 1940 and since then these excavations are being carried out continuously. This port town was occupied by people of Rome, Cholas and French serving as a famous maritime center from 1st century BC to 2nd century AD. Apart from rich in history, this place is great for photography as well. Once you visit this place, you will take home both knowledge and memories. Pondicherry has some of the oldest and the most beautiful churches in the country. I would highly recommend you to visit these churches. They are not only beautiful from outside but they are spectacular from inside as well. Among all the churches in Pondicherry, Basilica of Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Conception Cathedral and Church of Lady of Our Angels are the popular ones. Housing the best French cafes in India, 
Pondicherry is a foodies paradise and it is a great place for you to try new cuisines from around the world. Pondicherry has a lot of funky, trendy and pocket friendly cafes which are not to be missed. You can choose to have a coffee at Le Cafe, have wood fired pizza at Cafe Ecstasy or chill out at Bread and Chocolate. Pondicherry is filled with so many cafes and it grows in number with new cafes added every year. These are just few of the cafes that I visited. Feel free to try out new dish at a new cafe when you visit Pondicherry. At the heart of French colony, among all the hustle bustle of life, you will find one building to be quiet and peaceful. It is very hard to go unnoticed about this place. People would be waiting in long queues calmly to enter Aurobindo Ashram. This ashram is not a tourist spot but it is one of the very important place in Pondicherry. That's why I have included in this video. If you are into spirituality and divine peace then you should definitely visit Aurobindo Ashram. For those who don't know about Aurobindo, he was a yogi, seer, philosopher and a poet who created philosophy of divine life on earth through spiritual evolution. This ashram was built in 1926 and it is a home to hundreds of followers of Sri Aurobindo's ideology. Inside ashram are clicking photos or videos is strictly prohibited. That is my list of top 10 places to visit in Pondicherry. Let me know which is your favorite in the comment section below. Also let me know which place deserves to be on this list which I missed. If you are looking out for the best places to visit near Bangalore, then do check out this video on the left. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, keep traveling.